Hello everybody, it's Jack playing Super Armin World! This episode we will do the secret levels of World 7, which is the Realism Gallery. Hopefully this time my recording program doesn't start lagging out, because <laughs> it's, my suspicions were correct last episode in that uh, there was something going wrong because crazy lag spikes kind of happened. And this is kind of what I figured the item we'd, we'd get, because we can't get to those secret levels without a leaf. So that's what we shall do. And I don't need to do this, I keep wanting to do this. Is that what this is? No, no, it's not. Where, where is the? Is it this? Is it this one? Is is this how you get to the? Yes, it is. So yeah, there's a switch over here somewhere, but I have to fly because flying is a thing that I have to do if Maria will let me to do so. Da -da. Okay. So there was there was a blue frame and a purple flame. I don't know. <clears throat> that was both flame and frame at the same time. You can tell. <laughs> it was totally intentional. Um, I don't know if there's a purpose to that, and if it means that since purple frame is new, it's going to be any more difficult. I sure hope not, but we'll just start out with our good friend, the blue frame, which has a bullet bill launcher on it. Glass Cannon by Ratty524. So we've got our trump card here. We've got our do or die situation. Oh, glass is definitely a thing that is happening, and yet I'm not saying there's a cannon. So this this level is going to be extremely literal. It's going to have lots of bullet bill shooters and lots of glass, but also potabos and turtles, which that was not in the level description, so I call shenanigans. Nor was it Yoshi, but I, but I still like Yoshi, and Yoshi is always accepted because he can eat everything in the whole world. This time, I want to get back on Yoshi, and it seems like my suspicions seem to be true in that you can't jump back on Yoshi in this game if you're flashing from a hit, which that doesn't seem all too fair, <laughs> but you know, because half the time you don't really get enough time to stop flashing in order to get Yoshi before he, you know, gets himself murdered in some fashion, like running off an edge like a moron, um, or getting hit in the, in the back of the head by a bonsai bill, which stuff like that happens. I don't know why this music starts out so quiet, that's why I made my, uh, speaker volume louder because I was compensating for the quietness of the, the level music, but it just gets louder as the video game progresses, or the video game music progresses in this case. This is definitely very literal, save for yet again the turtles and the Goombas and the Yoshi and the power-ups and everything else you could possibly find in a level that has randomness in it. Now, how do I get up there? Do I need to fly? Or is I supposed to use the bullet bill launcher? That's probably true. Oh, well, I could do this too. This works too. I could cheat a little bit because, you know, I have the power of this thingamabob. I'm just gonna snag this. I said I'm just gonna snag this. But the problem is that I can't bring Yoshi along to whatever. Yes, I can. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Tanuki Suit. Man, the Tanuki Suit sure has some cool powers, huh? Doesn't it? Absolutely, it does. Uh, but can I use them while on Yoshi Man? I cannot. So, I wonder if she's being. Yeah, I thought she was hinting at something. But I shall collect some of these coins, because I need some of my lives back, for we are starting into the, getting into the late game, so it's just the smart thing to do, to, you know, do... Okay, well, Yoshi, are you going to be a help or a hindrance, my friend? I think you're going to be a hindrance, so... I was, I was trying to throw you off the edge, but I guess you, uh, you didn't accept that logic, which I understand. I cannot, I absolutely cannot complain. So, Kelly, thank you for giving me hints on, you know, being able to properly make jumps that are partly, partially invisible. But, you know, I, I got this, guys. I've got this. Please, please believe in me, for I, I am better at the video game than you guys take me for. Except sometimes, except I might be lying. You guys have no way of knowing. That's a moon, which I can definitely use. But I can get Yoshi back, I think, if he's still here. Yoshi! Yoshi, I'm sorry for what I said. Please forgive me. Uh, can I just jump down? Yes, I can. Okay. I can just jump down, and there's a midpoint. This level's kind of long, but that's okay. For this is a normal video length. Or video video length. We are four. We are four and a half minutes. This is not a good video length. Jack, what the hell are you talking about, guy? This doesn't make any sense. I can, I can, I can eat these, which I shall do. But first, you know, I'm just gonna do that and let things like of that nature happen. That that all that all happened because of Mr. The Cannon in the level Glass Cannon, which you know, I, I, I guess I can probably understand this. But, you know, a lot, lots of shells are required, as well as an RMN coin, which I may have missed somewhere. But, you know, we have no way of knowing that for truth. So, and I was hoping I could just jump off Yoshi. I think that'd be a little bit more, a little bit more MLG than, <laughs> MLG, um, than mystery blocks. Man, I, I should use a shell. 
I'm gonna use a shell so I can break that glass over there because there's something there, I'm assuming. I'm assuming there's some hidden object trying to make its presence known in some way, in some day. So I'm just gonna wait forever because this is gonna take forever, probably. See, that's an arm end coin. I probably do need to do this in order to reach it. So, you know, that's just what I, what I shall accept. Uh, well, no, maybe I'm wrong. No, I, I seem to have to, but I, I could do this too. Can Yoshi actually use this? Or am I gonna have to abandon Yoshi to properly use this? Yeah, I am. Um... Well, Yoshi, I'm sorry, but I, I guess our time together has come to an end, for I have found my very own glass cannon. And you can imagine what I'll be doing with this. I will be destroying the world and everything inside, because that is the only thing you can do with your very own glass cannon. But, you know, unless unless you get yourself hit and lose your Tanuki suit, which that happens too. There's an Iron Man coin up there that I probably missed the opportunity of getting, but no, I did not, because I can jump back up again. But I'm going to have to abandon my glass cannon, which is really unfortunate, because I was having a very good time using such a glass cannon, because it was helping me destroy at least some of the world. If it wasn't destroying all of it, some of it. Um, I do not know how I'm supposed to get that. Is there a another one here or something that I can... Yes, there is. I was going to say, broken video game, I can't get a thingamajigger. But it's okay, because I can get a thingamajigger. And it's now one of those rare times in which I can get an Armand coin. But I still have to abandon, I have to get, well, it's one of those rare times to get all of my Armand coins. I still have to abandon my own glass cannon for some weird, you know, jumping shenanigans. This is actually quite terrifying, frankly, because there's a lot kind of going on. This takes a lot of focus. Because if you don't focus, you are probably going to die someday. I'm going to take this cautiously. I kind of figured so. Oh, uh, well, I kind of I jumped into that one. I literally jumped into that one. If I didn't jump, I would have been safe. But instead, I decided to jump like a total moron. I understand that I made myself look like a total fool. Like I did just then, make myself look like a total fool. God damn it. This time, this time I must make sure I'm paying attention. Because, you know, you can, you can mess up jumps and bad things can happen. You can jump into turtles and jump straight into bullet bills. Or let bullet bills just kind of destroy and smash your face in. Or let that guy do his thing, which is possible. I cannot accept the fact that I might die here soon. Do you want to take this shell because I might use it at some point someday? I used it on a Koopa man. I thought it was useful. Gonna kill a Goomba man. Gonna go under him. I kind of messed that up, but it's whatever, I suppose. It's whatever, I suppose. Things just kind of happen. And what, what are you going to do about things that just kind of happen? Just, you know, I have to accept the fact that things happen. And, you know, things happen. Just gonna keep myself a million times just until you guys understand the logic I'm presenting to you. Which is me basically saying, crap happens when you better get freaking used to it, guys. Better get used to it. I'm probably gonna die here again unless I'm paying attention. Which, you know, I've, I've said stuff like that before. I've said I should, you know, pay attention a million times before in my whole life. I don't know why I jumped. See, that's my problem. I jump where I don't need to. <laughs> I seem to do that more often than not as I, as I jump, I panic, and expect things to go my way. Which half the time they really don't. So I'm just gonna do that and miss miss the opportunity to land on top of the star and I have to make an extra jump which is again makes me sad we spent 10 minutes on that level but that's okay because I was probably only planning on doing two in this episode anyway but that depends on how long this takes it's per Mr. Purple Frame which could mean it's really hard or different you see Poison Shroom's uh, Industrial Failure by Cyramem so are these uh, are these mushrooms? Is this mushroom factory with technical glitches? That's a zombie toad. I guess I'm playing as toad. <laughs> God damn it. They make me play as the person that, you know, knows how to do things. So yeah, I'm assuming this is a mushroom factory that, you know, has defective mushrooms and they are they're poison shrooms now, which I suppose logic is being presented. And it make it makes a lot of sense. I can't I can't complain about this. Uh, that's that's a pipe thing, and that's yeah, this is a problem. Toad! What are you doing? I'm one of you! Uh, except I understand you're probably not in the proper mindset guy, but in that case you've got it You've got to listen to me. You got to understand that I am not here to hurt you. Only you seem to be here to hurt me I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill my kin that does not seem to be Zombie toads <laughs> just kind of kill them for no apparent reason guy you are in the way in more ways than you can imagine My voice kind of cracked that was a little embarrassing <laughs> you're, you're in the way more than <sighs> toad why is it you, of all the classes, you have a problem jumping when I press the jump button? This seems to happen with you more often than it happens with anybody else. Again, you didn't, you didn't jump. That's a pipe I could probably go in, so I'm gonna try to do that. Um, but then again, I have to, you know, I have to time. I have to jump, and I have to, you know, know how to properly jump. I have to time jumps, which is harder than it looks, guys. I totally understand. That's a life I don't necessarily need, but I could probably use. But that's an RMN coin I don't necessarily need, but I could probably use. Um, and that's a power block. And I can, you know, make all the coins come to me because that's just the proper way of collecting your money. Letting the money come to you. Don't go out and fight for it. Just let it come to you because eventually it will happen. Um, I skipped a whole section. I skipped where I died, which is, I suppose that's good because I don't want to be dealing with, you know, the trauma of a place where Toad decided not to, you know, jump. 
which he's done that on numerous occasions. That seems like a place I could go into, but I do not want to try because it seems extremely dangerous. So if you expect me to do that, you are just a crazy person. This is like, this seems to be just death right here with Mr. The Toady Toad, Toady Toad, Toad Toad. This is just more death than life right now. <laughs> Guy, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, this is really scary. I don't know the proper way of approaching this. Unless I just have to wait a bunch. You know, I just let these guys go on their merry way so I can just run my way through and hopefully don't kill myself somehow. So this level is a level that involves playing as Toad with a lot of poison shrimps, which I guess I understand why the frame was purple, because poison, you know, well, the color purple is quite typically associated with poison or something of some toxicity, which I, under I understand now. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's harder, it just means that it is different and that it's not good for your liver, which... You know, that's, I guess, dangerous and scary in its own way, but who, who, who am I to complain about a level that involves the toxicity of alcohol and whatever the hell else is possibly hidden around here somewhere? You are more frust- gosh darn guy. You are just everywhere, and I do not appreciate it. I mean, all you do is cause me problems. All you do is insult me and my family all year long, and it's just not, it's just not nice. It's just not a good thing, guy. I hope you I hope you understand the logic I'm presenting because it's the really the only logic I shall present. That's a Koopa for some reason. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw scrunched up toad zombies at their enemies and you know have that happen somehow. Um, oh right, this is this is the guy they didn't happy want me to totally. get. Totally. <laughs> uh, welcome. Oh, a big and happy welcome. Today is the day you die. They thought their rules would prevent me from being any, from being here. Oh, but they were wrong. I found a way in, and nothing will stop me from destroying you in the fifth wall. Fifth wall. Oh, it is in this factory that produces absolutely nothing but pipes and poison that shall be your grave. With my bomb, I'm to throw a long hammer, Tronator. You'll be reduced to nothing but ashes as dance as I dance and spread them around. This boss has it all. Annoying wall, the w annoying wall, the weapon you can use to kill you. Henchmen, no spawning shrooms. Disappearing floor. Whoa, -ho -ho, you'll never win. I even have three clones. Three times you'll have to fight me over and over like a bad action movie. Oh man. The best part is when I destroy your worthless carcass, I'll have free reign to send my hordes of toads to take control of the gallery. Then the event. Then the entire website. I'll not stop until everyone has suffered horribly. I'll even blab bad memes like Arrow to the Knee and my buddy Lord Leroy Jenkins. No, oh, but don't forget, being the troll I am, I've developed a, a failsafe. All levels will feature nothing but me. I'll even suggest bad events such as Super Dr. Toad World. I'll make it happen if it's the last thing I'll do. Lastly, once you get a horrible, painfully frustrating death, you'll have to listen to my rant again and again like a bad joke no one can get over. I'll be the death of you. <laughs> I, I, I kind of see what's happening right now. <laughs> and how do I activate my bomb man? I that's kind of hard to say. Bomb man, I don't care what Scaldinator Tron perish. I, I figured. Oh dear, a flaw in my plan. <laughs> I could definitely see why you didn't want me to chipmunk that because that was that was pretty solid. <laughs> I enjoyed that. That was kind of funny. That was that was my that was my laugh for the day. I very much appreciate it. That was pretty hilarious. I'm sorry, Doctor Toadly. I'm sorry your plan didn't come to be. I'm sorry you didn't work out every minute little detail, and I'm, I'm sorry you kind of talked about yourself a little too long. I feel like this is a joke on bad action movies. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But that was pretty that was pretty hilarious. Sorry, man. Thank you for the for the level in which it was in, and everyone else who involved the text doctor totally said. That was pretty fantastic. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of Super Arm and World. In the next episode, we will start our new gallery. I'm sorry I'm not doing one level of the new gallery. It's just, it seems it seems fitting to end off with a show such as that one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you saw. See you guys next time when we do that.